Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday, October 5th. This is going to be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube and watch the remaining of the reading. So I want to tell you guys, last night when I was going to bed, my guide said to me, remind your viewers to be mindful of anyone trying to scam them. I have so many fake accounts um, and you guys, please check to make sure that I, you are following the account that has 40,000 followers. Also, all of my personal information, my email, my cell, my payment apps are the only apps that I use. If you're not sure, comment under my uh, YouTube channel or TikTok channel. The TikTok's for, um, 40,000, the YouTube is 7,000, over 7,000. Um, you can leave a comment on, on that page and I will validate who I am. Don't fall for anyone that's trying to solicit you, reach out to you, say that I've chosen you for a reading. I don't do spells. I don't do palmistry. I don't do anything other than what you see that I do on this channel. And then I looked at a message. Someone I know, a friend of mine, was scammed by someone. So that's why my guides were reminding me to tell you this. Um, you know, justice is coming. I know who's attached to this particular scam because my guide showed me. Um, and justice is coming for them. So it's just sad, but I just want to warn you guys. I love you too much to, um, to have you guys scammed. So we're going to call on St. Michael, St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what comes out guys. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good, please? Yeah. <laughs> Woo, they just kept flying. All right, so you're going to be blessed. Blessings are here for you. There is a karmic trying to cause you chaos and conflict. Um, they're making you aware of it, but they're saying, just rest. You don't have anything to worry about. We're taking care of it. You have nothing to worry about. Um, it could be a masculine that you were attached to in the past that's trying to wreak havoc in your life um, because they see you're being blessed. They're just saying, be present in the here and now, living in a space of love and gratitude, being grateful for what you have, uh, because you know, when you live according to universal law, what you put out, you get back. And whoever this is, whether it's masculine or feminine, that's trying to cause chaos, they are going to receive exactly what they've sent out to you. So the divine doesn't want you to worry. They just want you to focus on uh, what's going on in your life right now, being grateful, okay? So let's see what's going on. This doesn't surprise me that this came out. Please clarify, blessed, holy spirit, holy angel, saint, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please clarify, blessed. Wow, look at this. We have a witchy woman here. Queen of Swords in Reverse. I just saw an orb. Queen of Swords in Reverse is a liar, insecure, spiteful, witchy woman. Exposure. Truth is coming to light. This person, whoever this is, is going to be in regret for whatever deception. Whatever they've done behind closed doors to affect you. To affect your stability. Okay? So there is definitely a feminine energy involved. All right, so let's clarify chaos and conflict. Chaos and conflict. Chaos and conflict. One more, please. Whoop. One more. Clarify full and reverse. Yeah, look at this. The divine is saying for you just to continue to be in this love energy, planting good seeds. Do not worry about these foolish actions of these people trying to bring chaos and conflict because God is taking care of these people. Just because they think they're doing it in the dark don't mean a darn thing because God is watching everything. And when I pulled cards on my own situation this morning with this particular scammer, um, justice came out. So, yeah. Please clarify unfinished symphony. Unfinished symphony. Unfinished symphony, please. Wow. Yeah. So it's a karmic couple. And this karmic couple's been coming out. King of Swords to the Queen of Swords in reverse. What's coming in quick is this King of Swords now wants to confess something. Because they're heartbroken. 
I don't know if they want to confess what this Queen of Swords in Reverse has been doing or that they participated, but I do see somebody wanting to speak some sort of truth. Spirit saying, stay to yourself. Stay to yourself. Stay quiet because God's taking care of it. Please clarify time for a nap. Time for a nap. Time for a nap. Wow. They're saying you've chosen the right path. Um, balance will be restored in your life because I do see a divine union coming in. Whether you've met this person or not, this is good news. An emperor and empress. Help is on the way. I just saw that, um, gosh, what is the name of that movie? Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. You have your divine match coming in to help you with this situation. Please clarify, Yang. Yang. Wow. Yang. So this is the karmic masculine attached to this uh, karmic feminine that is feeling like they missed the opportunity. They're feeling not good enough because now they see you as the gift and they see that you've healed. So it's definitely a karmic couple. Please clarify here and now. Take what applies, guys. If it doesn't all resonate, then the whole, the whole entire message is not for you. Just take what applies to you here and now. Whoops. Hold on a second. One fell, and I have no idea where it fell. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here and now. Yeah, you got a new offer coming in. By you living in a space of love and gratitude, God is bringing a new offer that is going to balance those scales. You will receive what you deserve. Whatever has been taken from you is coming back to you. God is ensuring that. Okay, let's clarify by the book. By the book. By the book. By the book. Wow. You're living according to universal law. And whoever this person in is that is in this high priestess reverse energy, this is not only a witchy woman, this is someone that could do dark magic that sends negative intent that taps in the lower vibrational energy, whether they're aware of it or not. And they're doing it against you, the queen of pentacles, someone that's grounded and stable. Um, but God is saying you have this someone coming in that's going to love and support you. This will lead to victory in your life. Okay. God doesn't want you to worry. This is going to lead to victory. Let me get one more by the book. Why they're all falling on the floor, I don't know. You're embracing your new beginning. This page of cups here. By the book. Continue to protect your energy. Wow. Someone's holding on to your energy, Spirit said. And they're confused, going through the same pain that they've caused you, which comes out all the time. So let's clarify with the Kipper really quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to pull some from my deck. Uh, give me one on Bless, please. Bless. Wow. It's crazy because they're trying to ostracize you. Black sheep, outcast. They're trying to cast you out. And what's so interesting is it is a false feminine because you've let go of the past and you can't be controlled by pain of the past. So it's a false feminine. And we did see a queen of swords in reverse when I clarified blessed. So that's who it is, a false feminine. Okay, uh, chaos and conflict. Continue to pray. God just wants you to pray. Don't worry about what's going on. Unfinished symphony. Continue to manifest the life that you desire regardless of these toxic karmic energies. Time for a nap. Yeah, they, they're they well aware of the slander and the lies. They are well aware of it. Please clarify, Yang. Whoops. Please clarify, Yang. You are protected by your ancestors from this masculine energy. Please clarify here and now. Deception and betrayal. Uh, please clarify by the book. Wow. Okay. So by the book, you living according to universal law, 
they are unhappy because they are receiving karma. All right, so now I'm gonna clarify with the kipper. The bottom of the deck says you are worthy. Make I am statements. With blessed, we see this witchy woman being exposed. Uh, they're gonna be heavy in regret for all the decep deception to try to block your stability or your divine union. Please clarify blessed. family room dysfunctional family room oh my gosh this is a couple trapped in a dysfunctional situation okay pray more uh and chaos and conflict we see the divine is asking you to continue to plant good seeds to be in this love energy these foolish actions that this couple is taking to try and bring chaos and conflict it's not going to work chaos and conflict Yeah, <laughs> these thieves could not affect your journey. Your journey is still in the upright. You're still moving forward because you're on your destined path. With Unfinished Symphony, we see a masculine that, that is a part of this karmic dynamic, this double duo, whatever, and they wanna come in and communicate some sort of truth because they're heartbroken. The divine is saying, stay to yourself, stay private, go within for answers, Unfinished Symphony. Yeah, what did I say? Marriage in reverse, despair in reverse. This is a karmic couple trying to get out of despair. They are karmic, it's falling apart, and they're trying to get out of despair by attacking you. That doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Uh, time for a nap. Um, please clarify time for a nap. We see you've made the right decision. You are finding balance. And I do see a divine partnership coming in that this person is meant to help you. Time for a nap. Look, coffin. The spiritual realm is putting death to whatever this couple is trying to do to affect your stability or your divine union. Wow. Yeah. Somebody could lose a house. It's a very dysfunctional home, but somebody could actually lose their home. Okay. So with Yang, with Yang, we see somebody is feeling like you're a missed opportunity. They now see you as the gift, the blessing, and that you have healed. Please clarify Yang. Whoops. Okay, the change is this person may be going to physical court because of whatever a fraudulent activity they've done, or this is the court of spiritual law. This is going to be um, spiritual judgment or judgment in 3D, but that's the change that's occurring for this masculine. With here and now, living in space of love and gratitude, there is a lot of deception and betrayal in your energy, but God is saying you will receive an offer. This is what you deserve. All right, clarify here and now. Great fortune. Whatever offer you receive, it leads to more financial gain. Okay, with by the book, we have someone here tapping into lower vibrational dark energies. This is someone that's trying to affect a queen of pentacles, someone that's very grounded and stable. And you have also a partner coming in that is meant to co-create with you. That is very loving and empathetic. This will lead to victory. You will embrace this new beginning. Then we saw someone holding onto your energy that is confused, going through the ten of swords pain because they're unhappy receiving karma for their own actions. Please clarify by the book. By the, whoop, look at that. We got false person is concerned because you're the mature woman or man in the upright. Wow, what is this? A message is coming in. All of these flipped over. I didn't even see these flip over. A message is coming in from an official person to to this person in your past, mature man. This is someone you were connected to in the past, and it's going to clear your pathway. So I don't know if this is, yeah, official person. This can be legal. Give me one more on by the book. This person could be getting a summons to court. Wow. There's a community that's involved. Tell me about this community. It may have to do with money, receiving money, payouts paying someone to stalk, paying someone to harass, to, to uh, cyber bully, uh, to sabotage their page, uh, sabotage what, however they make money. God doesn't want you to worry. It's being taken care of, so you have nothing to worry about. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.